Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Procreate and drawing on an iPad. I am using an iPad Pro alongside a second generation Apple Pencil. Let's get started. Now, if you're not familiar with Procreate, Procreate is an app that a lot of illustrators use. It is a very popular app and it only costs $10 to buy, which is a one-time purchase. So it is very affordable. Now, Procreate is only compatible with an iPad and I am using an iPad Pro with 256 gigabyte storage and a second generation Apple Pencil. The second generation Apple Pencil charges magnetically when you add it to the top of your iPad. So a lot of illustrators use this app because you can create unique art that can be used for books, greeting cards, poster, or just digital art. It's really limitless and you can create so much with this Procreate app. I'm going to demonstrate the most essential things that you need to know about Procreate so you can start dabbling in this app right away. Please note that this app is pixel based, which means you cannot enlarge this design after you create it because it will get pixelated. So let's say I created this drawing and now I want to print it on an 11 by 14. When I started, I started with an eight by 10, let's say. If I enlarge it, it's going to get pixelated. That's why it's so important to know what size you are going to be printing your art so that you can make it as big as you want from the start and then you can make it smaller when you are printing. Now, if the size of the canvas is very big, let's say I am going to make it 20 by 20 inches, it's going to limit how many layers it's going to give me. So the bigger the canvas, the less layers I'm going to have. Now let's get started. When I open Procreate, I am going to see my gallery. And here is all the artwork that I have. So you can select many different artwork and then you can decide to stack them, which is kind of like putting everything in a folder. The other thing you can do is import a picture or a photo and start working from that reference. If you press the add sign, this is where you can decide how big you want your canvas. If you want something that is custom, just press on that and decide on how big you want. But if you're just starting and you're dabbling and you don't know exactly what size you want, just start with screen size and this will give you the size of your iPad to work with. Let's start with this button over here, which is the brushes library. Now Procreate already comes with a bunch of uh, brushes that you can use, but if you wanted to add to your library you can buy these brushes from artists they create their custom brushes so if there's somebody that you are following that you like their style of art most likely they will have brushes for you to buy you can also visit creative market you're gonna find a lot of brushes over there that you could use next we have the smudge tool and then we have the eraser tool. The nice thing about the eraser tool is that you can decide how you want to erase and that will create different textures. So you don't have to just erase with a solid brush. Over here, we have the layers. So remember I was talking about how many layers are gonna be allowed. This is what I meant with the layers and how many layers you are allowed to add with this plus sign. Then over here is the colors, so you can have your own color palette and how you would create a color palette, basically just by adding a plus sign, create a new palette. And let's say I, I like the colors in this picture. All I have to do is pick the color picker and choose the color that I want and then go back into the color section and add my color. So the color picker, uh, pick the color that you want and then add it and you can create your color palette like that. Or another way is importing a file or a photo and it will generate a color palette for you. Now Procreate has some important gestures to keep in mind. So let's say you drew a line and you want to erase it. 
you can use two fingers and just tap with your two fingers to erase uh, that mistake or that line. Another gesture that is handy, let's say you have a lot of things going on and you just want to erase everything, use three fingers um, and then just move them like that and then everything will disappear. If you are trying to draw a straight line, keep your pencil on your iPad and then it will straighten the line for you. If you are trying to draw a perfect circle, keep your circle and then what the Procreate is going to do is make it perfect. If you use your two finger, you can make the uh, circle perfect. If you want to color in your circle, just grab the color and drop it in the middle and then you have a filled up circle, but make sure that the lines are all closed off. On this side, you can pick the size that you want and over here you can play with the opacity. Here's the undo button and here is the color picker. Now when it comes to drawing inside Procreate, here's an interesting tool that they have. So let's say I wanted to um, add texture to this pink layer. I'm going to pick a darker shade. Let's say I wanted to add some lines. See how the lines are going outside of the pink part? What you can do is add a layer and choose the clipping mask. And what it's going to do, it will allow you to only draw on that layer and it will not go outside. So another way of using this clipping mask is by adding a texture. So let's say I wanted to add this kind of texture just on the pink part. So when I do that, see how the texture is only added on that part. This is a very fun feature that is inside Procreate that allows you to really be precise. Now let's move on to this tool over here. Let's say I added a new layer and I am going to create some clouds. If you pick this arrow over here, you can play around with the size, you can flip vertically or horizontally, you can rotate. So this is the transformation tool. And you can also select things freehand um, and then move them around this way. This button is for the adjustments, so just playing around with uh, different colors. And then with the action tool, you can insert a photo under canvas, you can turn on the drawing guide and you can decide on the grid size that you want. So if you want something that is looking a lot more symmetrical. And then another thing uh, you can add is this drawing guide, which will allow you to draw things symmetrically. So let me add that and show you how it works. So when I start drawing, I can start drawing symmetrical things. Uh, you can also add the the option of drawing radial and a lot of artists like to use this tool to create their mandala designs. And once you are done with your art, you can export it as a JPEG or a PNG. Under video, it is actually creating a time lapse for me. So this will be automatic and it will uh, automatically save it. So this is pretty much all you need to know about Procreate to get started.